It's your boy Soldier Boy. I want to congratulate Antonio Bryce and Cannon White on passing 50,000 in sales for their comic book series brand in Indigo. You already know what it is, man. Indigo Go that's lit. Bow. What's going on, everybody? It's Antonio from Akari Press. We're on the Indigo Go $64,647. Santana Baby Triple Cover Pack is, of course, still ongoing if you want it. Head on over to Indiegogo, or just type in AkariPress.com. It'll take you right there. Link, of course, is in the description. All right. So this came out uh, a couple weeks ago. And um, this poster was done by a publicity firm by the name of Atkins Publicity. Now, Atkins Publicity reps Billy Ray Cyrus. They rep, like, uh, the Judds couple of uh, several big music acts that are mostly from they've got a Facebook page everybody that I've seen them uh, posting up with look like they're country artists I mean they're they're based out of Nashville so that makes sense this was put on music row in Nashville and it says congratulations to Billy Ray Cyrus uh, number one on the Billboard Hot 100 number one on Billboard streaming songs and number one streaming song worldwide and in little teeny tiny t letters it says old town road little nas x remix um and there is right there the atkins publicity uh logo because i mean hey they they made had this thing created now some people were like oh so wait a minute billy just hopped on the feature and you guys are giving him credit for little nas x's song i can see to the uninformed why they would say that because yeah they got billy ray all up here bigging him up number one and then you don't see little nas x till you go down the bottom and it is kind of small there and they also didn't credit the producer which uh let me but you know there was some backlash here there's been a there's been a little controversy everything's not racial though the the thing i would say is atkins publicity is doing what they're supposed to be doing they do not rep Little Nas X. They rep Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus is featured on the song. He's their client. So their job is to build on anything hot that Billy Ray has going on. That's why he pays them. They get a check to promote Billy Ray Cyrus. They get a check to make sure that they contact radio stations, magazines, blogs, and go, hey man, you, you better line up this interview with Billy Ray right now. You got he's on the number one song in the country. You better talk. That's their job. Not you know, if they can keep him hot, then when he does shows, he can charge more. He can get booked more. You know, that's that's their job. Matter of fact, shout out to uh Jerry at uh Warm Fuzzy Publicity, uh he had done some work for me uh, back in the day when I was still trying to uh, make a record label and I was working with Uprising Records and, and uh, Sean Mutaki and some stuff. So uh, I understand what a publicity company does. Now, Billy Ray has heard this. Billy Ray, Billy Ray was someone who was very supportive of Little Nas X in the very beginning. Lil Nas X had old, um, you know, he had the Old Town Road song. It actually got up to like number 16 on the Billboard country chart. They took it off. They said, oh, this isn't really a country song. Now, some people had pointed out that they did the same thing to Beyonce. Beyonce had a, a song a few years ago that was a country song. And she actually got some booze. I remember she she performed at the CMAs and people were like, why they got Beyonce singing at the CMAs? And she had like, uh, what was um, the the singer from the Dixie Chicks and a couple of other country artists. They all stood with her and performed and, you know, everything happened. But Billy, Way, Billy Ray actually heard what the fans were saying because they there were people that was upset. And he went to the sign. And, you know, he's holding up this sign says, I would not have this sign without Little Nas X and Keo. So I, I appreciate Billy Ray actually doing that. Um, but, you know, here, here he actually tweeted this out on my way home from the gig. Wanted to say thank you to Little Nas X and Young Keo. Uh, take my horse to the Old Town Road. So he actually did that. But there was more controversy. Let me, let me pull this one up. And this, this is... Miley Cyrus, this is, uh, of course, Billy Ray Cyrus's daughter. 
and she she got some uh, people dragging her on the twatter because she was referring to Old Town Road as her daddy's song. And so, uh, let me see here, Billy Ray Cyrus has been received praise from the hip-hop community for hopping on the remix of Lil Nas X's Old Town Road. Billboard said the song was removed from the country charts because it didn't fit the criteria, which prompt Lil Nas X to get a legendary country figure on it. Many were quick to point out that Billy Ray Cyrus has done more for hip hop than his daughter Miley, who appropriated hip hop and black culture to get her career popping. Ooh, okay. Miley took to Twitter to praise Old Town Road, but ended up getting dragged for crediting the song as her father's, not Little Nas X's. Me and Madonna jamming to my daddy's number one song, Old Town Road. But she did add Little Nas X and Billy, right? And she did add him in the tweet. But, you know, some people were upset about it. But the memes quickly rolled in, with many pointing out the fact that the song is actually Little Nas X's, which again... If you see her twit, Twitter, she actually did add, add Lil Nas X uh, in the thing, but she just said it was her daddy's song. And then here's this here's this person. Girl, what is wrong with you? This doesn't sound like achy, breaky heart. Someone must be confused on Billy's number one song. Oh, there's the Soldier Boy meme. Love Soldier. Shout out to Soldier. Yo, daddy's song. And I, I love uh, I love Soldier Boy. Drake, uh, you at Little Nas X featuring your dad on the remix. But she did add it. This ain't your daddy's song, fool. What's wrong? Whose song? Yeah. It's wild how you still managed to F up after your dad actually did more for hip hop than you did. Oh, wow. Okay. Excuse me, Miley Cyrus. This is Little Nas. Yeah. So as you can see, people going in on, on Miley, which I like Miley, you know, so I'm good with it. Um, I mean, it's her dad. She's happy. Um, and uh, but I, I have noticed that there, there have a, been a few blogs or whatever that have done. Billy Ray's back. He's number one on the charts, and I get that. So, so a lot of people feel like that Lil Nas X is not getting credit, even though it was his song before Billy hopped on it. But Billy has always struck me as someone that's humble. And, you know, he don't try to, like I said, I appreciate the fact that he actually went to the sign and held up the sign where he credited uh, uh, Young Keo. Let me go back to it because it was like uh, Keo, which he, yeah, Young Keo and Lil Nas X. I, I, I appreciated him doing that. I thought that was a class move on his part because, yeah, he didn't get really credited on this uh, on this sign here. And, uh, but again, Atkins publicity works for Billy Ray Cyrus. They don't work for Lil Nas X. So I wouldn't, ex you know, I wouldn't really expect them to be bigging up someone that doesn't pay them. I know some folks don't understand that, but what are you going to do here? Uh, I don't know. Why is this a controversy? Please give me your thoughts in the comments. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap this video up, and if you guys want to reach out to me, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and right here on this YouTube channel, everywhere is at Akari Press. And if you type in AkariPress.com, it will take you directly to my Indiegogo campaign for my comic book series brand with the phenomenal Kanan White. We're on Teespring. We're on Amazon.com. The links to those are in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. I'm out.